All right, guys, let's talk some more about 151. I just want you guys to think about this logically. Just hear me out, okay? I'm just going to go on a little bit of a rant. We're just going to talk about 151, okay? So what we know. Let's start with what we know. We'll try and put our, um, try and be a little more Spock-like, okay? This is kind of my approach I'm trying to take kind of with everything. Don't get emotionally invested. Start with the FOMO and everything. But Japanese booster boxes, okay. I said it in my other videos, but we'll bring it up again. Feel free to look it up. Fact check me. Um, Japan is in a recession. The yen is at like a 30 or 30 plus year low. Um, I believe it hasn't been this low since 1990. They're not doing particularly very well right now. So let's just start off by thinking about that. Okay. If you were a reseller, right, and you had a lot of these boxes, right, and then a reprint gets announced, what what would you do? Would you want to wait until the reprint comes to sell your product? It's and, and who knows what price they got these for, right? So they're not doing well as an economy and you're sitting on a lot of boxes. MSRP on these boxes, guys, is like 40 bucks. I think it's like 38, but we'll just call it 40, okay? They've been selling like before this reprint got announced and everything. They were selling for like 200 bucks. Like some un like in over 200 bucks. Okay? If you're stuck holding that bag, you're going to want to get out from that. And I think I think honestly, okay. The second part of this is you got to think about this from um, the Pokemon Company's perspective. Um, it's not really a good look to have your boxes absolutely scalped and um, the prices be so expensive. So um, the only way really, well, there's two things that they're doing. For the boxes that they did have that have already been sold, they're removing the shrink wrap, um, which is kind of it's to eliminate the scalping, you know, so if you want to buy a box, you can buy a box and you have to open it or whatever. This, it's still worth, but it's not worth as much um, with the shrink. Anyways, so they're already trying to combat scalping, but when you factor in, like, it's simple, and it comes back to some simple stuff, guys, supply and demand. The supply is really high, or the demand is really high and the supply is low. So to offset those costs, you need to flood the market with supply so that these boxes come down in price. Now, if you guys will rewind a little bit to when we heard about the reprint, the reprint was May, okay? And I know that a lot of times they'll they'll say, you know, it's going to happen here and then it comes a week early. I don't know why, if they're announcing a large reprint, I don't know why they would announce it and release it so early and have it be so small. It's just, it just doesn't add up. You guys got to use your brains here a little bit. Um, that's why I think, I think there, that this wasn't really the reprint. I, I don't know if they were like sitting on some stock and they, they released some of what they had, like some reserves cause they didn't want to have nothing. But then once they were going to do the reprint, they got close. They let some of that, um, stock flood the market. And I think a lot of this, um, a lot of this FOMO that's being spread is coming from these resellers. And once again, just a caveat here, guys. I This is just me taking an educated guess. Like, nobody, if anyone is telling you, like, for certain that they know, nobody actually knows. Okay? There's no way for us to actually know. Okay? I'm not claiming to know for 100%. I'm just talking about, like, logically, let's think about it. Okay? So, that's why I say... If, if you're worried, well, you should have, you should have, um, started dollar cost averaging, um, earlier when I made my earlier videos, um, when the prices were cheaper, but still, you can still, the dollar cost averaging, you can start getting boxes now at the prices they're at now. If you're going to spend, if you want to spend say a thousand dollars on boxes, don't spend the thousand all right now. Okay. Spend, um, two or 300, maybe. I would say two, 200 ish. Um, if you were going to, and then you would do that like five times 
So as those prices are fluctuating, you're going to be okay with your average. So logically, when you start to really like break this down, guys, it, it would make sense that these sellers are trying to get out of these positions and they're trying to sell um, because they know that a massive influx is coming. So just keep that in mind. Um, and once again, like I, this could be totally wrong, but just when I start to really think about it, um, you know, uh, I think, I think there's, there's room, uh, there's going to be a lot of room on these boxes, um, if they flood the market and I don't know why they wouldn't, this is like, also look at the popularity of the set. Like think about like, why do you want this set? Why did you click on this video to watch this? Because you want this set. Cause it's one of the best sets ever released. Okay. It's, it's, it's great. It's amazing. Um, so that's that that's for Japanese. I want to talk about something else. It's not really getting any hype right now. Um, and that's these guys, right? So this is English, English one, five, one. Okay. This is going to get a reprint guaranteed that, that, I can, that I can say guaranteed English one, five, one will get a reprint. And if we're going to use an example, we use Crown Zenith as an example. If you guys aren't familiar, you can look this up. But Crown Zenith got a reprint, I believe it was eight or nine months after its initial release. And it's the same It's the same reason. Pokemon Company wants to make money. They don't want boxes to be scalped and go for insane prices. And obviously, 151 doesn't have a booster box. So ETBs and booster bundles. I don't know about the, a lot of the other stuff. But anyways, there is going to be an English reprint as well. So like, you guys got to keep this in mind that with newer product, like you don't want to just, if, if you're going to buy and flip or invest or whatever, you're going to want to be smart about when you buy and when you sell, unless, unless you're kind of holding like five, 10, 20 years down the road. And that's like your goal. Then that's a little bit different, but, um, so just expect expect English, these English prices are going to come down. They, they kind of have to, and it's the same thing. So English and Japanese, it's just, I just wanted to, I just wanted to like get this, get this thought process out there for everyone. You don't have to just FOMO into everything. Just think about it. I think it's really kind of simple and, you know, make your own informed decisions for yourself. Um, whether you're a collector, investor, a flipper, scalper, whatever you want to call it, whatever you're doing. Um, yeah, just th that that's all I had for this one, guys. I just wanted to, you guys to think about, use your brains a little bit. Um, let me know in the comments if you guys agree. I know this was kind of like a little bit of a rant, but um, just we're seeing so much Japanese 151, Japanese 151, what, you know, and people are like, well, there's the reprint, it's gone. And just think about it, guys. That's it. That's it. That's all I have for this one. And um, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one.